Hello, I'm Annabelle Ruffle with Journey for Earth and I'm here today with Johnny O'Callaghan, who is originally from Ireland but now lives in California. He's an actor and runs a meditation therapy practice and six years ago adopted a beautiful three-year-old boy from Uganda. Hi Johnny, thank you for being here. Hello, hi. Hi, share with us your journey that led to you adopting your son, Odin. Um, well, I was working, I came to Los Angeles to be a superstar, <laughs> to be famous. And um, I got the same agent as Jack Nicholson, and, and it was it was the beginning of pilot season six years ago, and I met a, a friend um, for coffee, and she was heading to Uganda in, in the, on that Saturday, and she asked me, did I want to go? As I was talking to her for coffee, I kept hearing, you know, yeah, go to Africa, go to Africa, but my I kept hearing my mind or the thoughts go, but it's pilot season. <laughs> you can't go to Africa, <laughs> mm -hmm. and um, and then we we took off on that Saturday. It took us about three days to get there, and um, we ended up in a small little town in southern Uganda. And um, I met this little boy in an orphanage, and I kept just hearing he he's your son. <laughs> it didn't it didn't make sense in a way because I like I was single. Um, it wasn't like um, you know. I had my life sorted out, if you, if you want to put it that way, if that makes sense. Yeah. And then it took about nine months, and nine months later, he arrived back in Los Angeles. Nine months, the length of the pregnancy. Yeah, which Funny. is kind of bizarre, right? Yeah. And it was such a roller coaster. You know, I was vegetarian for 12 years, and then all of a sudden I was getting cravings for, for processed meat. Really? <laughs> yeah, so I was very emotional. I think it's because you don't know if it's going to happen. So there's that mm -hmm. sense of... Um, just not knowing. You're, it's the anticipation of life coming. Mm -hmm. and how how do you feel you've changed as a person since you've become a parent? Well, I feel I've like grown up. Mm -hmm. I feel I like became um, a, a, an adult, if, if that makes sense. Yes. I think I understood too the circle of life and, and and understanding my parents that they did the best they could. And there's a lot of forgiveness mm -hmm. because it was obviously it was twenty four seven, which. You know, people say yeah, it's twenty four seven, but you don't really realize until you experience what twenty four seven is. You know, also he forced me to be present, really present. Um, and what inspired you to set up your meditation therapy practice, and why do you feel meditation is so beneficial? Well, I, I think it really got me on the path to to my son. I mean, if I hadn't been meditating, I don't think I would have heard that intuition. Go to Africa. I don't think I would have heard the intuition that he's your son. So I, I wanted to do a master's, and I did a master's in psychology with an emphasis on spiritual psychology. And um, so it just, you know, it, it took that, it began there, just a sense of, um, of also following the passion for, for meditation and for being happy and living in the moment. Is that, is that am I answering your question? Yes, okay. yes you are. And my, it leads nicely <laughs> into my next question, actually, because I know you believe that following our internal guidance is very important mm -hmm. and also whatever gets us to shine our light and not live in our pain. Mm -hmm. Do you want to explain that a little more and how can people take those first steps to doing that? Well, I think it's the, the not, I was believing everything I was thinking. Hmm. That, that is... Dangerous. <laughs> yes. And I, I think that's probably the biggest message that most of what we think is not true and most negative thoughts are not true. It's so easy to pay attention to yesterday, tomorrow, next week. Yes. To bring that focus. To Whenever you're thinking, now. you're in the past or the future. That's always the past or the future. So it's not accurate again. So you're missing out on what is in synchronicity. Mm -hmm. And I find the more we live in that place, then anything is possible. And then intuitions come in to help you solve, maybe if you're having s s problems with your circumstances much easier than just trying to solve it with, with your past conditioning. Mm -hmm. so. And then my next question for you I'd like to ask is what have been some of your biggest challenges over the years and how have you overcome them? Well I, I think it's all, that's what, uh, thank God for meditation, it's always not believing what I was thinking I and mean, everything can be a challenge but it's only if you, you know, if you're believing how difficult it's going to be. So action steps of taking action is very important and I think the universe really meets you when you take action because I, I think sometimes um, people read the secret and love the law of attraction but I, I do I do believe in action that like if I didn't 
go to Uganda, I would never would have met my son. And what is your biggest hope for our planet at this time? I think I, I love, well, just love, I guess love, the, the more we sit in that, again, the presence, the love of, of, of who we are. Um, that we Stop living in what's wrong with us. I, I think so many clients come in and they've been so brainwashed or convinced that there's something so wrong with them. And a lot of, again, it's just shifting into that place of being whole, perfect, and complete now. And people will really start tapping in to their power, their creativity. You know, because if we're all whole, perfect, and complete, we don't have to be comparing ourselves to other people or being resentful of what other people have. We can really sit in, sit in that love, and, and, and that's our essence. That's and in what ways are you um, encouraging your son, Odin, to love and respect nature, the environment, and animals? I think respect, having a dog is amazing, because I give Charlie a voice, like I, I and so it's, it's hilarious watching <laughs> Odin relate to, 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 to Charlie and also the trees and the garden and, and, the, and the plants and, and um, yeah he's, he's, he's a very very loving I think just sitting in, in, in that loving that, mm -hmm. and that anything is possible to follow his intuitions to follow his instinct to follow his into to hear it so he's, he knows that he's not the intellect or he's not just his body but he is this essence, and the more he, he can tap into that. And, and who or what is your greatest inspiration? I think it would, it would have to be, you know, my son, my dog, mm. my, you know, life. I think it's just, again, just being inspired by the moment. Just, again, not thinking that my life should be different. Mm. That it's okay, yes, I set intention to experience different things, but, but just... I think seeing the miracle in life in each moment. Thank you, Johnny, for being here today. <laughs> Thank you. And for those of you who'd like to know more about Johnny and his work, please go to johnnyocallahan.com. Thank you.